Customers have hung up on Verizon Wireless. The phone company tried to charge them a $2 convenience fee, but the backlash was fast and loud. So Verizon has put the plan on hold and here with more on the Verizon move. And the reaction is financial contributor Carmen Wong Ulrich. Great to have you with us, Carmen. Good morning. So this is this is a very interesting story to me. Yeah. That that companies are learning to react differently to what we say online. I love this story because this is really the power of the consumer story. Yeah. Now this fee, this $2 convenience fee, actually affected very few of the customers of Verizon because this fee was if you paid by debit or credit card over the phone or online. And this was a lot of last minute bill payers that mm -hmm. do this, so maybe about a quarter of their customers. But it didn't stop customers from getting very, very upset. So if you had already set up auto pay, for example, you your account wouldn't speak, have been impacted. But they were still mad about it. Online reaction was very widespread. Facebook boycott Verizon page. That went up pretty instantly. Also, change.org put up a petition. Within hours, they had 50,000 signatures. As of this morning, it was up to 145,000 signatures. And Twitter, boy, people were really outraged on Twitter. The hashtag convenience fee was very popular very fast. Immediately starts trending on Twitter. Exactly. There are not, I mean, there's tons of companies that have sort of fallen into this trap over the last year, like Bank of America as well. Yeah, Bank of America, we know early this year, we've talked a lot about this, their $5 debit charge fee for a month. There was such an outrage over that. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people being very vocal about not wanting that fee. Now, that was only being tested in a couple of markets. That got pulled off. It took about a month for the out outrage to kind of affect Bank of America, and they pulled out of that. Now, Netflix, we know early in the year, they tried that 60% mm -hmm. fee hike and also splitting their streaming services service and their DVD delivery service, which they ended up scrapping that, but they lost over 800,000 customers. And Verizon had to have, that's why Verizon they had such a quick reaction to all of this. Within 24 hours, they pulled that fee and it was a very smart reaction. Do you think though customers are going to see that fee show up in another way in their bills with Verizon? You know, that's the thing. And that's why I tell folks, especially now to really scour all of your statements every month from your banking to your utilities, to cable, whatever it is, because you don't know when these fees are going to pop up. And if they do pop up and you see one, be vocal about it. Go mm -hmm. on Twitter. Actually put the you hashtag. Have power. Put that, you have that power to do that. It's not like the old days where you just picked up the phone and talked to one customer service representative. Now your complaints are not in a vacuum. They're in a public forum, and that gives you the power to change things. Carmen Wong-Ulrich, thank you. Thank we you. We appreciate it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.